know, when Prabhupada got his his stroke, it was, it was Memorial Day weekend, and Memorial Day weekend in New York, everyone leaves New York City. It's like a this huge exodus, and uh, I could see Prabhupada was couldn't couldn't function, couldn't. I mean, it was serious. So um, I called uh, my family doctor, but uh, he was out of town. And, uh, you know, you just get the answering service. And I asked other devotees, anyone know any doctor? And nobody knew, and I was calling. I just took the phone book. I started making random calls. Whomever I called, everyone was out of town for the weekend. Everybody goes. At least in those days, I don't know. And I mean, I'm just calling and calling, and it's hard enough to get anyone to come to a residence anyway. And I actually could not get any doctor. And, uh, you know, it was either bringing Prabhupada to a hospital, they didn't want to do that, and ultimately I just got some kind of uh, doctor's referral service, municipal thing. And uh, eventually I was able to get through them some doctor. And finally a doctor came. And he was this little old, uh, I guess maybe Jewish guy. And uh, he came, comes in. Of course we didn't ask him to take his shoes off. But I mean, here we're all standing in our kind of, we used to wear these jeans and t-shirts and barefoot and you know, and he walks in, you know, and there's no furniture, and just a carpet, and there's this old Indian man. You know, he couldn't figure, what, what's going on here? <laughs> and there's Prabhupada very sick, and everyone's walking around, right, Krishna, Krishna, you know, I mean, yeah, he just couldn't understand. So it took him a time just to understand what's going on here, and then what to speak of examining Prabhupada. And he was a very kind of boisterous type of person, and... Uh, he examines Prabhupada and then, uh, you know, with the stethoscope, this, that. And then afterwards he goes outside and uh, so we asked him, so, so, what, what, what's wrong? He said, well, I think the old man, he prays too much. <laughs> so, well, uh, oh yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's just praying there. He's just sitting there praying all day, and uh, he's got to get out. He's got to do some exercise. And Prabhupada can hear him from, you know, the other room. Yep, he's got to, uh, he's got to do something. He's got to exercise. Go for a walk. Got to do something. Go out in the morning. Take a walk. Go to the park. So, uh, anyway, and then he just left. And I mean, this guy, he, that's all he could do, say. So, eventually, we did have to actually, I did put Prabhupada in the hospital. And then, uh, then that was, that's a whole, that a, was a whole thing. And then Prabhupada came out of the hospital, and then uh, we took him to, uh, a house in New Jersey, we had rented by the seashore. Anyway, uh, and Prabhupada did uh, recover sufficiently. And the, then Prabhupada announced that uh, uh, now I will take a morning walk. He said, that, that doctor, he said something v very good, very valuable. Uh, we all laughed because we thought the guy was uh, nut. And uh, he said, Prabhupada said, no, no, he has given very good instruction. I will, I will take that up. And Prabhupada then proceeded to take a morning walk. And Prabhupada always took that morning walk. I mean, no matter what his condition, what his health was, or whatever. I mean, I know stories of Prabhupada uh, when Prabhupada was in, in Switzerland and it was uh, snowing out. He was in a hotel, uh, Shamsundar took him to uh, 
St. Moritz, that's a whole story. But um, Prabhupada couldn't go outside for his morning walk, so he took his morning walk in the uh, corridor, corridors of the motel, of the hotel. Walking, and just as if he was outside. He was just walking and walking. I mean, I know when uh, prob there was an automobile accident we had in Mauritius, and uh, well, we were all had been uh, in injured, even Prabhupada. Uh, the next morning, Prabhupada rang his bell. We were all aching and paining and uh, uh, Prabhupada all, he was injured even more and um, on his leg and so on uh, he rang his bell where are you going morning walk and we were like hobbling and uh, but Prabhupada went on his morning walk and Prabhupada was also feeling, I mean he was much older than we were because, you know, you feel uh, the next, when there's a big tension like that, you feel the next day, all that adrenaline, it, it, it gives you a lot of pain. So, uh, when Prabhupada went on his morning walk. So, uh, Prabhupada followed that instruction. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. 